Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. This article comes to you guys from NVIDIA's newsroom. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So this will just be a quick video. This is an update to the partnership that T-Mobile announced back at Capital Markets Day 2024. T-Mobile announced a partnership with NVIDIA, Nokia. Ericsson was there, um, I believe, as well in that partnership. And, of course, the OpenAI, the Intense CX. But that's uh, that's different. The, the, the Intense CX is more for the, for the app, the T-Life app. This, what you see on screen, is for the network. So why is this important now? T-Mobile is going to start testing this. And that's why the video... This video will be relatively short because there's not much else known at this time. So T-Mobile US will collaborate with Nokia and NVIDIA, which you already know, to test drive, to drive and test AI RAN technologies as a, as a part of the 6G innovation and development process, reinforcing its global leadership in driving wireless innovation. Trials are expected to begin in 2026, focused on field validation of performance and efficiency gains for customers. So this will scale in, in, in a testing phase. I don't believe this to be a part of the commercial network anytime soon. Like I don't see this even 27, 2028. I expect 2028 going into 2029, perhaps to, we see this a little bit more where perhaps they, they, they do some testing on the actual official commercial network. But for now, this is just part of testing. So the move will enable massive improvements in performance and efficiencies, helping ensure that consumers using generative and physical AI applications on their devices will have seamless network experience. It will also support future AI native devices such as drones and augmented and virtual reality glasses while being ready for 6G applications such as integrated sensing and communications. I just think, just quickly, briefly, I just think going into 6G as... The carriers plow billions of dollars into more spectrum as this technology, the AI ran, apparently brings more efficiency. I just I just hope this go around. The carriers go into 6G with some type of uh, use case already ready before going into 6G. We're, we're, it's the middle of 5G and we're already into 5G advanced and that will... Those standards and those releases will improve too, right? We'll go from release 18 to 19, whatever the new one is. But we don't have an actual 5G use case where it's, okay, this is this can't be replicated on LTE. That's the type of use case that I'm that I'm talking about. Because if if we if you have the same spectrum that we have today, you put it on LTE, you can very likely get the same type of performance out of out of the, the network. On LTE, 5G, of course, they're slicing. There, there's some other things that, that are more efficient, of course. And I'm sure 6G will bring forth even more where you can probably adjust performance in real time. Where if, okay, this is not being used right now, we can shift this very quickly for this use case. That's the type of 6G I'm thinking of when, when, when we're talking about AI. But... Again, not much known at this time. We knew about the partnership. T-Mobile announced it back in 2024. Um, NVIDIA just made a billion dollar investment into Nokia. So that's a big deal. Verizon and AT&T just shifted away from Nokia. And here goes NVIDIA, the largest chip maker or one of the largest chip makers. And they're plowing a billion dollar investment into Nokia. So that tells me. T-Mobile is also going to drive some investment back into Nokia, which will favor them because they they will get the latest and greatest best technology that T-Mobile, I mean that Nokia possibly makes. And we are we're already starting to see that on new site builds as well. New T-Mobile site builds, they're starting to use newer massive MIMO panels for N41, which are better range, 1024 QAM, et cetera, et cetera. So newer technology is going into the T-Mobile network. And in return, I feel T-Mobile is going to, they're going to have to make an investment back into Nokia because Verizon and AT&T left that train a long time ago. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.